Father, we thank you that you were willing to take the fall for us. Lord, we know we didn't deserve it. Lord, we know that there's no way we could earn it. But Lord, we thank you that you were willing to love us so much that your son Jesus would take what was rightfully ours, the, the terrible consequences of our sin, and bear them himself as a living sacrifice. Father, we thank you that we are here today because you have bought us back from hell, bought us back from our what we deserve, the wages of our sin. And Lord, we glorify your name today for that. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful band that has helped us to worship you already this morning. I pray that that worship will continue as we look into your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. You may be seated. Well, thank you, guys. What a wonderful job you have done today again. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Turn with me in your Bibles, if you would, and I'll try to give you the right reference today. <laughs> 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, Paul is writing to a church that had all kinds of difficulties. Uh, you know, it's amazing to me that within just 60 years, that period of time after Jesus passed away, uh, all of these books of the Bible were written, and these books of the Bible that were written address all the different troubles we have today in our individual Christian lives and in the life of our churches, right? So it didn't take long for human nature to, to rush right back in, right? After the new creation and the new nature we received in Christ, it didn't take long for things to get messed up. Well, sometimes when we get messed up in church, it's over our identity or over our use in the Lord's work. I want to share with you, uh, we have been preaching a series of sermon called A Fully Developing Follower of Christ. Uh, and we're seeking to be a fully developing follower of Christ. And we've been looking at a disciple's cross with Christ right in the center of that cross. We have a next, yeah, there we go. <laughs> We've been talking about how we can have these different ministries related to our relationship with Christ. We had talked about worship and uh, the word. Uh, and to this last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the next slide, please, which is w our walk and our work. And today we're centering in on our work for the Lord. Uh, and so today we're going to look at the different ways that God can use each of us. I was <laughs> reading a story about a man who was driving with his wife at his side and his mother-in-law in the back seat. <laughs> These two ladies just wouldn't leave him alone as he was driving. His mother-in-law says, you're driving too fast. And his wife says, a little more to the left. <laughs> and they continue about 10 other statements like that. And, and finally, the man has all that he can take. And he says to his wife, who's driving this car, you or your mother? <laughs> uh, well, sometimes life is like that. <laughs> uh, and we need to know who's driving our car. We, and really there is someone who can show us the right way to go. I, I remember, you remember a, a, a young lady who won uh, the prize for uh, that uh, show on TV that had something to do with singing. Uh, you remember American Idol? American Idol? Yeah. You, you remember that? And she won it, and she came out with a single right away called Jesus Take the Wheel. You remember that song? It, isn't that a beautiful song? Sarah, can you sing that song for us sometime? <laughs> uh, what a beautiful song, but even more than the song itself, the sentiment behind it, who is driving our car? Uh, you know, it's really wise if we have Jesus 
behind the wheel. Amen? And that's what I've been talking about, having Christ at the center of our life. To be a fully developing follower of Christ, it's really not about us. You've heard that before, right? I've seen several books upstairs, a few copies. I think I'm going to start giving them to our, our guests here at the church. Not this week, but in the future. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's called The, the Purpose Driven Life. And you know what that book says in essence? If I could boil it all down to one simple statement, it is not about you. <laughs> you know? That's kind of hard to take a little bit, isn't it? And even with the gifts that God has given us, even with the, the, the calling on our life, He doesn't give us these marvelous gifts that we have. And, and boy, there are so much talent in a church. Amen? Amen. There is so much different things that people do within the life of the church that blesses the church. Amen? Amen? But it isn't so that they can shine. It's for the good of the church, isn't it? It's for the benefit of the body. Ultimately, it's for the benefit of the kingdom. It's for the glory of the Lord. Amen? That's what it should be about. And I believe that that's what it is about as we understand properly what God has gifted us with in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I'm going to ask if you would stand in honor of God's word as we read this, uh, these verses together. And, and boy, I really had a hard time figuring out where to start and to stop uh, because of the whole chapter is so very good. Uh, and I finally figured out I'm going to have to stop before I get through chapter 13. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's look in verse 1 of chapter 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to the dumb idols, however you were led. Therefore I made known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus is accursed, and no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are varieties of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of effects, but the same God who works all things in all persons. But to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For to one was given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the effecting of miracles, to another prophecy, and to another the distinguishing of spirits, to another various kinds, and I'm going to use the word languages if you don't mind because that is the correct interpretation of that Greek word glossolalia, okay? To an another different kinds of languages, and to another the interpretation of languages. But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. For even as a body is one and yet has many members, and all the members of the body, though they are many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, we were all made to drink of one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I am not a part of the body, is not for this reason any less a part of the body. If the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not a part of the body, is not for this reason any the less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But now God has placed the members, each one of them, in the body just as he desired. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? But now there are many members, but one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. Or again, the, hand to, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. On the contrary, it is much truer that the members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we deem less honorable, on these we bestow more abundant honor. And our unseeming members come to have more abundant seemliness, whereas our seemly members have no need of it. 
But God has so composed the body, giving more abundant honor to that member which lacked, that there should be no division in the body, but that the member, members should...